One of marketers' most prominent challenges is getting their subscribers to interact with their newsletters. It's easy to get stuck in a rut sending out generic newsletters that get lost in the inbox noise. Many marketers struggle to move beyond the usual buy now or learn more calls to action, and that's where surveys come in. Creating surveys for email newsletters is an excellent way to boost engagement and get your audience talking. MailerLite is an excellent tool for creating engaging surveys that drive actual results. So let's get started. Starting from the MailerLite dashboard, we're gonna click on campaigns. When we click on campaigns, I have one already started and let's go take a look at that. And we've just got a simple subject line here that says that your feedback is important to us. We've got all our information there, sender, all that good stuff. What we wanna do is click on the edit content so we get to take a look at the survey block. So we've got our email started. We've got a simple little animated GIF in here asking people for feedback. How do you add the survey block? Go over to the left-hand menu, mouse over special, and then drag and drop over a survey or a quiz. Now they both look very similar. The only difference between the survey and the quiz option is that the quiz at the very end will offer results to you. So we want the survey, so we'll just drag over the survey and then it will start you off with something called the intro. Now if I click on that block, the survey block, you'll see here that we have something over here that says intro. Now we can not start with an intro, we could start with a question right away. We could do a satisfaction score for instance, or we could do a multiple choice or even an open-ended question if we wanted to. But I like the intro and what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've created an intro and so I'm just going to quickly swap out this intro and we'll be right back to the video. So here is my intro. I'm just calling it We're All Ears and it says we would appreciate feedback about your recent visit. You should only take a minute and to answer the questions about your experience. And then we have a little button here that says start survey. So how do we edit this stuff, right? So we have the intro here. We gotta click the little pencil icon here and that's where we edit stuff. Now the description box here should be, I think in my opinion, a little bit bigger so we can see what we're typing as there was a typo in there that I had to go and scroll through and figure out what it was. But that's where you put this description in for your intro and that's where you change the button name. We're happy with our intro. We can click on save changes. Satisfaction score. I just kept it the way it was. I could certainly go in here and change it to service since we're talking about services. How would you rate our new services? So we just go into the question here change it out to services. We can put in a description, explain your question. We can change out the shape of our, of our rating. You can change the color to black or gray or white, and you can show labels so that people know what they actually mean. Then we'll just click on save changes. Multiple choice. So in here, we click on the, again, the pencil icon so we can edit our question. What was your favorite product? We could say, what was your favorite service? And again, you can put in a description and you can colorize this a little bit. You can do colorful, so make them stand out a little bit better, although it looks like it does repeat. And I don't see a way to change the color once it's in there. Other options that you have is allowing people to select more than one answer and also add in an other option that's where you change out the answers. So I've got three questions here. Other things that you can do just with the survey itself, not individual questions, is you can change out the layout. It really just puts it into a box, so it makes it more focused on your email. I like the standard, I like the wide. Other options you have is to show survey progress. So you could say, this is question three of three or you could have that off. And you can also allow people to go back to previous questions if they wanna change their answers. Other options you have is to change out the style of your survey. So you can change out the font, the colors, the labels, all that good stuff, along with the button colors. The big impact here with this survey in MailerLite is the conditional logic. We can add in rules based on how people answer. For instance, if I can add a rule, if anyone clicks on how would you rate our services, answered with a specific answer, and they answered very unsatisfied. So we could add a person to a specific group. Let's say this group name is unsatisfied. I don't have one here, but if I had a group name called unsatisfied, then we could go and do an automation or workflow that will email the person and say, hey, we noticed you are unsatisfied in our survey. How can we improve our services or products? And get a dialogue going person to person versus you know with a generic survey. 
So you could do something like that. And I think that is really cool. I love the logic feature in MailerLite. So for, for in this case, since we don't really have a group already created, we can just select, uh, we'll just click LarrySnow.me and we'll click on save changes. I don't see a way to edit the rule name. So that would be interesting to know why we can't change the rule to say unsatisfied. So with an intro that we have here and a couple of questions that we have, I think we need an outro as well. So how do we do add another question? Click on add a question template. It will default to the last question that was asked. And then we just wanna scroll down here and select outro. And that will be the end of our survey. Thank you for your valuable feedback. Then we can click on save. Let's click on done editing. Well, from here, once we've done editing, we can review and schedule out our email. We're gonna click on send now because the other piece to this of our survey is the data, right? We wanna see the results. So that's gonna come up right after we click on send. I'll do a couple of survey feedback and then we can take a look at the results. So we're back under campaigns. Here's our one sent email. And to view our survey data, we click on view report. Let's click on survey report and check out the data. So it says here, how would you rate our new services? We've got two votes for unsatisfied, one vote for neutral and one vote for happy. In addition, this is our second question here. What products? What was your favorite service for the new line? I should have changed that to service instead of product, I realize now. So that's how you take a look at the survey responses. You can export this data into a CSV or an Excel, which is really nice. Now, we did two votes for unsatisfied. We want to make sure that those subscribers have been added to that group because that was our rule. Now, you're probably asking, well, how do I know who clicked on what? You can actually click on the votes here and it will open up and tell you who voted on those. And you could do that for each answer. So we know that these two people have clicked on unsatisfied. And if I were to click on their, their email addresses, you'll see here they have been added to that group, LarrySnow.me. So you can go back to the survey report and then you can go through each question if you wanted to and see who voted for, like in this case, each product and so on and so forth. Thanks for watching and remember to leave your thoughts on surveys in the comments below. If you have questions about creating surveys or want to learn more about email marketing strategies, subscribe for more tips and tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.